starting off with urinary system imaging today. So let's start with a quick anatomy review. So let's talk urinary system. We have two kidneys, two ureters, a urinary bladder, um, urethra, the um, adrenal glands would be also included here, and then some terminology review. So what is retroperitoneal versus intraperitoneal? Um, so retroperitoneal is the structures that are outside the peritoneum versus intraperitoneal where they're inside the peritoneum. So um, just a little chart here to um, let you review that. And then this image here was just another review of which is um, either intra or retro. All right, so kidney anatomy. Let's talk about this, because this definitely is something that you're going to have to know for your board exam, probably. So major calyces uh, unite to form the renal pelvis. The renal pelvis lies within the hilum, and the hilum is the concave medial border of the kidney where the blood vessels, nerves, and lymphatic vessels in your exit. The renal pelvis is continuous with the ureter, so that goes down to um, follow through the ureter. The kidneys are located um, usually between your xiphoid process and iliac crest, usually around um, T11, T12 to L3, and the average adult kidney measures 45 inches in length. The right kidney sits lower due to the liver location. All right, so here's just some reminders here on kidney function and the formation of urine. So the kidneys function to remove waste products from the blood uh, they help us maintain fluid and electrolyte balance and um, secrete substances that affect uh, blood pressure. And so here's an image here to help you um, go through that process. And then urine formation begins with the process, process of filtration of blood, where the blood from the body enters the kidneys through the renal artery. It's going to um, filter through and allow us um, to create the urine. Renal blood vessels. So we have renal veins and renal arteries. So the renal veins carry the filtered blood from the kidneys to the inferior vena cava. Renal arteries carry unfiltered blood to the, from the aorta to the kidneys. So veins versus arteries. And then ureters. Um, the ureters uh, begin at the ureteropelvic junction or UPJ junction, right? So we talked about that renal pelvis following through to the ureters. Um, they are about 28 to 34 centimeters long. They lie on the psoas muscles and the upper ureter extends from the renal pelvis to the upper border of the sacrum. They attach at the UV junction to the bladder and it's posterior connection. So it's in the back on the side. So posterior lateral border is the UV junction connection of the ureters.